Hello and welcome to our first ever stock pickers video. This will be the first in a two-part series covering Clearfield. In this video we will start by making a fair value estimation of the stock. In the next video we will discuss some of the reasons why we believe this stock will perform strongly, and why the assumptions in this video should be reasonable. If you are unfamiliar with the company, it may actually be better to watch that video first because it will also provide some background. To determine the fair value, we will estimate the future earnings and then discount these to today. We start by looking at a figure that is not reported in Clearfield's financial statements, but is very important regardless. Demand. We determine the total demand in a given period by taking total revenue and adding the increase in backlog. Backlog is the value of orders that are to be fulfilled in the future. This means that if backlog increases in a given period, demand has been higher than revenue. This is not 100% accurate, because customers might start ordering further into the future, but gives a strong estimation. Doing this, we get the following figures for the past two years, the final value includes 7 million of revenue from Nesta Cables. We can see that after some very high growth periods, demand now seems to increase with about 4% per quarter. So, we will assume that for the next 5 years, this will stay at 4%. After that, we assume 5 years of slowing growth and after that we assume no more growth at all. In the previous earnings call Sherry Baronic, CEO of Clearfield stated that, we will continue to build capacity and expect to reduce order backlog. A stable backlog implies that all future demand should be equal to future revenue. So, this is the assumption we will make. This gives us the following projected demand and revenue. Next, we estimate the net profit margin. We can see that it has been growing rapidly over the past years and has been slightly below 20%. So, we will assume that as the company scales up, they will remain at a constant net profit margin of 20%. Finally, the company can choose to either give these profits to the shareholders or invest it into future growth. We will assume that both of these are equally valuable for shareholders in the long run, and therefore assume all of the profits are distributed by means of dividends or share repurchases. As long as they spend the money they do not distribute to shareholders in an efficient way, this assumption should not matter. To calculate the present day value of these profits, or NPV, we discount them by a rate of 5% per year. For the profits at year 10, we calculate the sum of an infinite geometric series by dividing the constant revenue by 0.05. Doing so, we get that the NPV of all future earnings amounts to 2047 million. This corresponds to a share price of $131 or an upside of 78% to its current valuation. Therefore, we rate Clearfield a strong buy with a price target of 131. Interestingly, if we exclude the revenue streams obtained through Nesta Cables, the NPV is 1902. This implies that the value of this acquisition can be up to 145 million, whereas the price paid by Clearfield was only 23 million. This shows the acquisition might turn out to be very profitable. We will keep updating this analysis whenever the company announces earnings. The next time this happens is in two weeks from now, on February the 2nd. The most important part in this report will be whether or not the company will satisfy the 103 million demand we have assumed, therefore, keep a close eye out on the revenue and backlog figures. They should sum up to 268 million. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part.